tight, and I was just like, I hope I could pull game out. Um, yeah, I just, I was just getting frustrated too because I wasn't serving as well, and I just really wanted to close out that game, but I just couldn't. Do you think it's just a matter of experience or? Uh, it was experience, but I think it was more nerves. That was the main thing. And just like, I was just too like nervous and emotional. And I think if I just stayed a little bit more calm, I could have done better in the first half. Now you're, you're playing juniors. Are you playing juniors? No, I'm not playing okay. juniors. Yeah. I'm not playing Are you the doubles or anything? I'm playing doubles, yes, tomorrow. Which part? Alley kick, B1 hard kicks. Now up up five three up a break exactly what happened you showed the composure uh, two days ago to be able to close out a match against a tough opponent mm -hmm. what do you think exactly happened today I just think because it was second round and it was just more nerve wracking and um, I think I served better on the first day than I did today um, I was making more first serves and um, I just didn't keep enough balls in at five three and I was just trying to be more aggressive because I didn't want her to control the points more, and um, I just think I went maybe for a little bit too much during that time, and maybe if I would have just made a few more shots in, I would have been better at it. You were very frustrated after, you know, losing that first yeah. set, understandably, but what have you said to yourself about, you know, being able to control your emotions and, you know, in a situation like that? Well, I think it's hard for everyone, especially here. It's such a big tournament, and there's so many, there's so much. I mean, emotion going into it. Like you're giving your best out there at every point, and uh, sometimes it doesn't go your way. But I just think uh, now I'm just more disappointed of how I handled it. Like I could have maybe thought, thought uh, like thought through it a little bit more. I could have been a bit smarter about my shot selection and everything. How much confidence did you have coming in as a hard parts winner? Um, I did have confidence. I was playing really well that whole week at hard courts and singles and doubles. So I was really confident. I was hitting the ball well, and I thought I had a good shot here. And you've actually been a pro for a while, mm -hmm. but you've wanted this, you know, to get into the game. Yeah. Do you feel like you're more of a professional player now? Yeah, you... I'm a lot more of a professional player. Like I take it more seriously now. Um, I've it's been really hard. Well, this year it's been a really good year for me, actually. So I'm happy about that. But in the beginning, maybe a year or so ago, I was still coming out with no experience, and um, I just didn't have, you know, enough mentally. I just wasn't as strong as I am now. So I think I've grown a lot, especially since I turned pro. Do you? Uh, I remember an American film American who done well in this tournament this year. Do you keep track of that at all? Do you talk to any of the other girls? Do you draw any strength among each other? Yeah, well, we're all friends. I mean, we see each other in the locker rooms all the time and at tournaments every week. So I think at this point, it's you know, we just hope for the best for everyone. I do talk to, especially with some of the girls my age, like Taylor, Towson, and Allie Kick, and Vicky. Uh, we all we all grew up playing tennis together, so it's great that we had to we have this opportunity to play in this tournament, and we've done pretty well. What's your schedule? What are you doing after this? Um, I'm playing. I'm done with juniors actually, so I'm just going to be playing pro tournaments until December. I have a really hectic schedule. I'm going to be playing every week or every other week, uh, trying to get an Australian with the qualies. So I think after this, my ranking will be uh, high enough. But it can always get better. You can shoot for many draw maybe after this. What's the what's the most positive thing that you're gonna take away from this experience, uh, achieving your first Grand Slam win? Well, I mean, there's a lot to take from it. I won my first in my first Grand Slam. I mean, I won my first match. See, as how nervous I was, um, I handled my nerves better that day than I did today. But I. I can't be too disappointed. I mean, we have tournaments every week. Next week, I'm going to another tournament, so I can't dwell on it for too long. It's just, um, just taking everything from here and what I've learned and just carrying it on for the rest of the year. Well, good luck. Okay, thank you. Thank you.